Does she look like she'd let her own son die? She left him alone in that apartment. I didn't. I... Oh, in other words, you just sat there and watched him freeze to death. Detective. I had to go to work. Mrs. Hilliard in the village. I was serving at one of her parties, and Serena Price, the neighbor girl, she comes right after school. And he's never alone for long. Long enough to freeze to death. Where's the father? Truck driver, killed in an accident. I thought Serena would be there. I get home, I don't know, around midnight. And the apartment is dark, freezing cold. And Henry, he wasn't moving. I took him right to the hospital. And you left him there. I was out of my head, OK? I mean, I didn't mean to leave him. He was. Gentlemen, can we? She's responsible for that baby's death. Open and shut. The only thing open and shut around here is your mind. Let's be realistic. The DA might go for endangering the welfare of a child. The law says she has to exercise reasonable diligence. The law says she had to knowingly or intentionally or recklessly or negligently cause harm. I don't think any of those apply. Well, at the very least, we can hand the DA a solid case for negligence. Look, has she talked to the babysitter since the boy died? She was scared. She panicked. We'll check her story. With your busy schedule, maybe you could squeeze it in before you indict her. I'll talk to the DA. Meantime, she stays at Central Booking. Look, it beats Rikers. She's a good mother. She loves Henry. Were you supposed to be there, Serena? I got stuck. The subway coming uptown. Well, it's not her fault. She feels bad enough as it is. Jackie said she might have to leave. Now, I have a key to the apartment. The super says there's no way he opens the front door for a stranger. Like that place is something to protect. You'd been there before. He opened the door for me once, but now he says he doesn't know me from Adam. See, I told him about Henry, but he said Jackie and Henry were gone. I thought Jackie must have been mad. She'd never want me to come back. A black girl, Negra Senorita. She's trying to get into the building. Don't know, sir. Here we go again, look. Jackie Ward's babysitter. She lives in the neighborhood. She's a young black girl, about 16 years old. Her name is Serena Price. Excuse me. Oh, Mike. Look at this. He bought out the whole hardware store. Pretty cold, huh? Hace frío? No, he. Since when? The morning, I fish it tonight. Yeah. Six space heaters in the furnace just went out this morning. Maybe it goes out a lot. If Jackie's telling the truth, it was off two days ago. First time we were here, was the heat on? It felt like that, but the old lady on the third floor had her hat and her coat on inside the apartment. The building's half empty. The place is a wreck. The landlord wants to renovate. You get a message from that? The message I get is that the landlord would be thrilled if her tenants left. And maybe the heat was off accidentally on purpose. 736 East 3rd, owned by Iris Corman, Corman Equities. Hey, yeah, uh, you got a contract on it? Thank you. Any changes in the amount over the last six months? Thanks a lot. Listen, I'll be getting back to you, okay? Thank you. Petrillo Oil, contracted to service the furnace. No reports of trouble, but get this. In the last six months, no change in oil consumption. Colder in February than September. Sure. You shut it down once in a while, you burn a lot less oil. We prove harassment. Jackie Ward's behavior is going to look a lot better. You want to make this stick? Find somebody who was driven out. There was never that much heat, ever. Sometimes it was off an hour or two, and they just said it was an old furnace. Did you complain? It wasn't my lease. It was my grandma's. I complain. They find out she's dead. They get me out in a minute. The law changed. You lived there when she was alive. You're entitled to a lease. I didn't know that. 
I was scared we'd end up in a shelter. What about the other tenants, the ones that left? Did they complain? What am I hearing? I kept to myself. All I know is the Spanish guy takes over the new super, and it gets worse. He wouldn't do nothing. The heat was off intentionally? We're trying to establish whether or not the heat was turned off to harass the tenants. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You mean to tell me that they did this on purpose? I had as much as I could take, you know? I mean, the lock on my door was broken. I told the super, Torado, he pretended he didn't understand. He's got trouble with English. The trouble is he's alive. I put a chair against the door, middle of the night, boom, the door's down, and that creep Turner, he's in my living room. Now, is he angry with the whole world, or is it just you? Come on! That guy is a tenant like I'm the Queen of England. I never saw him at night. What, like he's sleeping somewhere else? Uh, the heat goes off, I try to get it back on, I gotta get past Turner. He's a thug, pure and simple. This is Turner's sixth building for Iris Corman. He clears out tenants. That's what he does. He's got three priors, assault and menacing. Tenants, trying to get heat. See, we were thinking maybe depraved indifference homicide, murder too. Boy, the... no, there's another building, Paul. Old lady gets pneumonia, lack of heat. She dies three months later. No charges because they can't tie them together. Well, I'll admit charging Jackie Ward may be pointless, but Toronto and Turner murder too. We have to prove intent. Paul, Turner's been doing this for years. Which does improve the heat was cut off deliberately the day the baby died. Well, Toronto didn't have six base heaters for no reason. They were all brand new. It's a reach, but maybe Toronto, OK? Turner, we have no link to the war, baby. Uh, maybe we do, the babysitter. Serena Price. You remember she said the super wouldn't let her in? That he didn't recognize her? You think Serena Price speaks Spanish? No, of course she doesn't. It wasn't the super who kept her out. It was Turner. She talked to Turner. Thank you. It's been bothering me, huh? Jose Tirado, step outside, please. You're under arrest for the murder of Henry Ward. If you're around, please, put your hands behind your back. Come on, pal. I know you've done this before. Where's Turner? Turner, no home. Stop! 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 The lock is broke. It has to be replaced. You're not the super. You're not replacing it. You got a Turner! Just give me an excuse. No way. You just got nailed. Joseph Turner, you're under arrest for the murder of Henry Ward. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will be used against you in a court of law. Do you understand that? 